there there's things you know oh were they as good as they should be maybe in five on five no was there a play here or there that they left out on the ice fine a 5-2 win is a 5-2 win is a 5-2 win it's okay to feel good about it it's completely okay to say gosh they needed that it was fun the, the top players played like top players. We'll talk about it. First, let's hear from Rod Brindamore. Asked about what he likes from his group's, group's response last night. Well, I mean, I thought, you know, we scored, which was nice. Power play was good, obviously connecting. And then I thought, uh, you know, Cooch played really well. I mean, that's really the end of the day. That's the difference. Uh, he was solid. You know, he outplayed the other guy. And that's, if we can get that, and you know, we have a chance. I don't know that we were necessarily great tonight, but... Um, you know, we got ahead and kind of just was good enough. So he was really good, and the power play was good, and that was the difference. Sometimes it's that simple. We scored. That was good. Power play paid, played well. That was good. Goalie played well. That was good. I love how he's like, you know, we didn't play particularly great. We kind of held on. I'm going like, no, if, if most games, most games, that is the the – formula right that is the easiest and most simple path to achieving big goals is doing the basics Pyotr Kochekov your goalie played great finally earned a rest it seems like right five straight games he had a season high 35 saves last night and now you may rest yeah goalie playing well that's a good way to get to a win in the NHL the top guys played like top guys. The Hurricanes were 3 of 6 on the power play. They're 5 of 10 in their last two games. If the power play p- plays well, especially your power play one, when you have your top guys out there, that's a good uh, step towards winning hockey games. Sebastian Ajo had four points with a goal and three assists. Yeah, that's going to – in games in which – Sebastian Ajo has four points. You're going to be doing A-OK. Shout out to Seabass. 500th career NHL point as well. 503 if you're keeping 503. track 503. Because that first goal was number 500. Andre Svechnikov, stumbled through that name, Brent Burns and Seth Jarvis each had a goal and an assist. Those are three pretty important players. If you just t- told me those top, the, the, the three forwards, right, Ajo, Svech, and Jarvis – if they were all going to have multiple points, yeah, I would say you played well, and I would I would take my odds of going to win the game. Jack Drury also scored for Carolina. Solid goaltending, your top guys playing like top guys, and taking advantage of the opportunities you have with the man advantage. That's all it is. That's all it is. That That might be all it ever is. If the guys you pay the most money give you the most production, if your goalie is comfortable and playing well, and, and, and if when you have the man advantage, you're taking care of it, that right there is the game plan. And they did it. That's why it was low stress, right? And they did it. That's why it was no pressure at the end. That's why it felt so darn good. And Nashville is not a bad team right there. They're in the no. mix. Right, that that wasn't a get back game. That wasn't one you went into like we did in the San Jose game earlier this year, where you're like you just better win by a bunch and get out of there. You went into that game expecting a fight, and you got yourself some relaxing minutes at the end. That is the whole thing. Don't make it more complicated than it has to be. You played solid team defense. Your goalie played really, really well, and your top guys took care of business. You know, it's it's one of my pet peeves, and bowl season we're seeing a lot of it uh, in college football because what you have is a lot of broadcasters, a lot of play-by-play and color commentators that don't normally call the teams that, like if you're an ACC color commentator, uh, this year you might get mostly ACC games. That makes sense, right? But ESPN might assign you to a bowl game with a Pac-12 team and a, and a Sunbelt team or whatever it is. So you, you don't have, you don't have the familiarity. What that means is at the beginning of the broadcast, when they ask for keys to the game, you're just going to go to the universal keys of games. Don't turn the ball over. Start fast, right? Protect your quarterback. Get after the quarterback on defense. 
those are the four keys to this game. And it's like, all right, you're not as familiar with this team. That's fine. You're just going to the generic keys to the game that you could say before every football game. You could say those four four keys to the game for every Monday night football game, every Maction game on a Wednesday, every high school football game on a Friday, right? If you're just like, don't turn the ball over, start fast, protect your quarterback, get after their quarterback, it fits literally every team. Now, similar to what you're saying there, but to Trip Tracy's Taco Bell takes, which I love before every third period, after the first period, right, Brendan Moore said, I'm kind of paraphrasing, keep up the intensity. Yep which I thought you saw the Hurricanes do that in the third period, even though they didn't score. The defensive effort was there, Yep. along with Kachekov making some good saves. And then also keeping your foot on the gas. Keeping your foot on the gas would be the only one of those that I think is uh, genuinely one of the, the the kind of generic takes. But for, and like, for the NHL in hockey, goaltender playing well, like keys to the game. Kochekov has to play well. Your top guys have to play well. And you have to take advantage of special teams, right? You need to play well in the power play. Those are not unique to to Carolina. They apply to Carolina. And at times this year, they've struggled with each of those three things, sometimes all at the same time. But it's not rocket science here. You don't have to grasp at more and more and more. Sometimes it really is. If, if Vajo has four points, you probably won the game. Yeah. Right? If if Kochekov has thirty five saves and doesn't give up thirty five saves and doesn't give up a, a freebie, you're probably going to win the game. If Svech has two points, like it, you can go on and on down the list. Here's the thing: I still want to see from this team. I still want to see this team win when they show up with their C plus game. Right? I there's it's obvious, and it's happened a handful of times this year when they show up feeling good. Right when they hit all the green lights when driving to the the stadium, when when uh, you know they they I don't know they get to to the dryer right as it's ending so they get to put on the warm socks like when their day is just going well when they hit the ratio of milk to cereal perfectly when their day is just going well they can beat anybody and they will I still want to see them show up and have like a rough day right. Uh, what's the, uh, uh, I have a two-year-old, so I'm doing a lot of, uh, uh, two-year-old son at home. So I'm doing a lot of reading books that are kids. There's the, uh, the Alexander and the terrible, no good, horrible, very bad day. Something along those lines. That's the name of a children's book. Uh, I want to see them wake up and have a terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day and still win the game. Cause that's what the really good teams do. They find a way. Like a pitcher that wakes up and can't hit their spots, but somehow walks off the mound, seven and two thirds pitched and two earned runs, and it's like, how did you do that? You had your C plus game. That's what I want to see from them. Last night it was fun because they had their A game and and they rolled. Maybe we'll see it tonight. They play Montreal at home. Maybe they they won't be as on fire. Uh, maybe Aho won't have four goals and they they'll still win a game. That's the next step. But if you want to win them all five two, I'm fine with that too.